Hey everybody, I'm Sunglass Rob, and this is my best friend, Eyeglass Tyler, and there are so many Oakley Prism lenses. Today, we're gonna go over every single one from darkest to lightest, tell you what light percentage they block and let through, and what they're good for, and what they're bad for, and what we think of them, and show you what they look like. That's right, specifically, by the way, Prism Snow. Prism Snow, yes. that's its own. I thought it was obvious yes, based on I know, the, it but is, thank for you. Sure. Yes, that's why I need you in my life. <laughs> It's mutual, man. So uh, one thing that makes this super important, or one of the reasons this is super important, this video, uh, is because every Oakley snow goggle only comes with one lens. So when you don't have a bonus lens, I think it's a little more important that you pick the right lens, even though bonus lenses are available for purchase. I think this is important. Before we get into that, I want to make a note of this guy right here. This is a <gasps> I love that prescription insert. If you're a prescription wearer, this is huge, a game changer. I think the best solution available on the market. We make them talk to us. If you want more information, we have tons of videos on it, but let's focus on Prism Snow. What are we starting with, Rob? Uh, I think we should go darkest, right? Start with the darkest lens, which is the Prism Black Iridium, which is extremely dark uh, it only lets in 5.5 percent of available light that's actually a category four lens so it goes to like category uh four three two one darkest to lightest zero i guess would just be a totally clear lens i think Correct. so category four means it's like if it was in a sunglass it's too dark to drive in it's very dark um for the most bluebird day for the most cloudless day for the person who has very light sensitive eyes uh i think prism black iridium would be a great choice it's also aesthetically really pleasing yeah. a lot of people just like that blackout look but be careful if you're getting it just for aesthetics and you go in variable conditions if you're not so about dark. changing out lenses um, if you like to ride on overcast days or whiteout or bad weather doesn't scare you, you might need a second lens or a second goggle or rethink that lens. Aesthetically though, it's pretty rad. Um, it still has prism technology, so even though it's that dark, it gives you a boost of contrast. It's a really beautiful lens to look through, but it's dark. Crazy dark. Yeah. All right, let's jump to the next one. Uh, we're gonna go to Prism Dark Gray, which only lets in 11% of light. So it's basically very similar to the black Iridium, but it doesn't have the mirror. By the way, if it has the word Iridium in it, it means it has a reflective mirror coating. If it doesn't have the word Iridium in it, it does not have any kind of reflection, extra kind of Iridium mirror coating. Yeah. Um, so that's the next one. I think we should just keep going. What do yeah, you think? Let's just keep going. Yeah. Oh, oh, and a quick note, uh, almost all of these have the same base color, which is Garnet, which we're gonna get to. That's actually one of these guys right here. Uh, so we'll explain that a little bit, but you're effectively getting the same experience looking through them outside of how much light is making it through the lens. Uh, and then outside of that, it's, it's kind of personal preference in terms of color. So next we got the Sapphire Iridium, which lets in 13% of light. I think aesthetically, one of my favorite lenses, beautiful kind of sky blue color. Um, it's really nice. It's a little hard to tell with all these lights in here and no goggles sealing it. Like mm -hmm. when you have it in a goggle, the mirror shows a lot more, um, but that Sapphire is a beautiful lens color to, to look through. Not as brilliantly blue as you will see online, by the way. Yeah, and it, we had to do a video when these, when Prism Snow was pretty new, we had to do a video because so many people were calling saying this lens doesn't look right. This is not what it looks like online. So I ordered the Prism Sapphire lens from you guys and this is what I got. Like, what's the deal, man? It's really tough to get an accurate image with a camera and a mirror just because of the nature of camera lenses and mirror coatings. And so uh, that is something to note. It looks a lot more brilliantly blue online or in images, uh, but it's still a very pleasing blue in person, just not quite as intense. We got a tie at 13%, three-way tie actually. Jade Iridium is also 13% and it's got that, uh, this one's actually got a rose base and then a, uh, like a green mirror. Um, very aesthetically pleasing. I have a couple of jades. Um, I have one in a line minder that I love a lot. So the jade is really cool. Really the only difference between the sapphire and the jade that you any real human is gonna notice is the mirror color. So um, just depends on if you like blue a little bit more or you like green a little bit more. The next one is rad. This is the Sage Gold Iridium. This is new for this season and it's got a kind of like a greenish goldish reflective mirror on it. I think it's very like 
sophisticated. It's just the rad lens. It also comes, uh, we have two special edition Oakley goggles out this year that we've made with Oakley that you could only get with Sport RX with the factory pilot logos. Kevin did such a yeah, rad job it. designing those, yeah. the team here with That's Oakley's it. input. Uh, and we you pick, can only get from us. You can only get from us. And we picked that sage gold for both of our goggles. So videos on that as well. Um, right. Why don't you go with the next one? Dude? Yeah, so the next one is also a new addition to their lineup this season, which is the rose gold. So prism snow rose gold, uh, effectively the same thing. It is a little bit lighter at 14%, so 1% lighter. You're not gonna notice a difference. Really, it's just a matter of personal preference when it comes to that iridium coating on the front side of the lens. I really like that rose gold. It's I think so it's cool. Unique. I'm kind of, you know, I'm a little flashy yeah, kind of guy, and, kind of and guy. I just like rose it's gold things. Very well. Yeah, yeah. And then next up is prism snow torch. This is a classic. This is one of the OGs, one of my favorites. This comes in at 17% light transmission, but again, that same prism garnet. So effectively the same experience looking through it. You're just letting a little bit more light through. And then another new another addition new. for this season, which is prism snow garnet. And so this, I guess, technically isn't new, new. It's just a, a new option without that. Yeah, it's been available with a mirror encoding. before, but now yeah. without a mirror. And so this guy comes in at 19%. Uh, and again, no mirror coating. One thing to note with any of these that don't have a mirror coating, if this matters to you, which it might, I want to go back to talking about this insert here for a moment, uh, because one of the questions we get a lot is, will you be able to see the insert through the lens? A non-mirror coating on the snow goggle lens is more likely to show what's behind the goggle lens. If that matters to you, just keep that in mind. I just want to take a quick brief moment to say, in my opinion, if you are looking for one lens that's going to work in most every condition, you're not worried about changing, um, you just want a middle of the road kind of just set up. The torch and the garnet are in that kind of sweet spot with light transmissions and prism technologies where one goggle is going to work really well in 80% of the, what is it? It'll work 100% well in 80% of the <laughs> conditions. Um, like even maybe the rose gold, like right in this kind of sweet spot, I think is like where they're almost really never too dark or too light. But that actually happens on this side too, for me, that 13% ones. The technology with the prism and that garnet, um, it, they work so well and you almost, it's hard to believe, like we actually tested them in like mm. white out conditions and I was like, this is not technical technically a low light lens, but I don't feel like they were too dark. And I'm very like particular about having the right lens at the right time because it's my job. Yeah. Um, so really cool. You know, like we said, Oakley's don't come with two lenses, but the mentality is for most people, this kind of family right here yes, works too. really well in a lot of conditions. Now we're going to jump kind of a big step from 19% in the Garnet. We're going to jump all the way to 39. And now we're getting into some like low light technology. So this is Prism Persimmon. Persimmon, if you know Oakley history, has been around for a very long time and it's kind of like an orange highlighter lens. Well, now they have that with the Prism technology that boosts contrast, not just because of the color, but because of the technology within the dyes of the lens. So this is a fantastic low light lens. If you have sensitive eyes, if you're always in the sun, if you're going in um, bright conditions most of the time, maybe not the best lens for you, but for low light, I love the Persimmon. Yeah, if you tend to be in in more cloudy conditions, snowy conditions, you want, probably wouldn't recommend it for night riding, mm -mm. Uh, but it is definitely lower than most of your other options out there, and the only one on the table with uh, more of that kind of yellowy base color, because it is also a persimmon base color, so one of the few that doesn't have that garnet. And then next up, we have the high pink. The Prism Snow High Pink comes in at 46%, so a, another big jump in light transmission, but this does have an iridium coating. So this is still a mirrored lens, but it is definitely another good low light lens. We tried both the Persimmon and the High Pink in total whiteout conditions, like insane conditions, one one season, two seasons ago, three seasons ago. I can't ago, keep up anymore, we I don't remember. Mammoth, uh, it and, was and gnarly. It, it, was, it was really important to have yeah. the both the Persimmon and the High Pink. They felt pretty similar to me. I think that what you, you're gonna get out of the Persimmon is uh, uh, things are gonna seem brighter just because 
it makes your color perception so much more vivid, uh, even though it's not letting quite as much light through. But my favorite was the, I can't remember now, I think it was a persimmon. You like the high pink? I like the high pink better, yeah. I, but I'm a rosy guy. Yeah. I just like rose. That's I'm like true. a rose, just the world's better through rose-colored lenses. That's yeah, true. and speaking of kind of a rose-colored lens, the last one on the table is Prism Clear. So no word iridium in it, no mirror in it. See, you learned something today. Uh, <laughs> and this is actually, even though the word clear is in it, it still lets in 65% of light. So 35% of light is blocked off. Even our clear glasses we're wearing now are around 90 yeah. or 89 or something. No matter what, when you have a lens, it's not going to be 100% like light transmission. But this one is the one recommended for night riding, especially because there's usually lights. Yes. Um, and this is the one recommended for really, really low light, the lowest of light. If you're super hardcore, you just love it when it's dumping out on you. Yeah. Um, this is the one to go. But this is basically for people that want like wind protection more than like brightness protection. Yes, if you're the type of person that normally rides without any lens at all or any sunglasses and you want some protection, uh, that's an awesome option. Really cool too because you're getting something that lets the most light through possible but still giving you that prism color enhancement. I like that lens a lot. Yeah, man, that was 11 lenses, such a wide variety. Hopefully you learned something today. If you did, maybe consider a thumbs up. It makes it really makes us happy. Like, Or if you just like us, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you want more content about Oakley's, about goggles, about Tyler's awesome beard game, uh, subscribe to our channel. We don't do that much about your beard. Maybe we should do a beard video. Maybe not. Tell us in the comments. Should we talk about beards? Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. We love you, bye. Now that you know everything you need to know about the Prism Snow lineup, you should check out the video of the goggle that we got to design with Oakley. It's the best. Check it out. Hopefully that'll be your new goggle for this season. Thanks for watching.